This video will provide a more in-depth look into the item placement tool configuration screen that is included with the Boyum B1 usability package. Let's begin by navigating to Administration, Add-ons, B1 usability package, Module configuration, Item placement tool configuration to open up the main configuration window. Ideally, you would right-click a screen in SAP and select the Edit Item Placement Tool Configuration option to be taken to this window, since it will already be linked to the SAP screen you want to customize. To go over all the fields in the Item Placement Tool Configuration screen, let's select the customizations that were set up for the delivery document. The first field that is displayed in the header is the Code field. Each configuration will need a unique code in order to function and will be given a code automatically when a new one is created. The form type field corresponds to the form ID of the screen the configuration is modifying. So in this example, since the configuration is set up for the delivery document, the form type is set to 140. This value can be verified at the bottom left of your screen by hovering over a field on the corresponding SAP screen with the system information active. The description field will correspond to the description of the form type which in this example is delivery. The Use Description as Form Title checkbox will change the title of the SAP screen to whatever value is in the description field. Note, this will not work on any sales or purchasing documents since those documents dynamically change their title. The Form Width and Height fields will modify the size of the standard SAP window. It is recommended that you keep the Form Width and Height blank. The Universal Function field is where you can assign a universal function to the item placement tool. This is useful for if you need to add other items to your screen, like buttons or checkboxes. The Block UDF Sidebar checkbox, when checked, will prevent the corresponding users from opening the User Defined Field Sidebar. Next, in the User field, is where you can select specific users for the item placement tool customizations. You have the ability to either include or exclude the selected users by selecting the corresponding radio button. Below that in the category field, you will be able to select a specific configuration category if you have previously created categories for Boyum. Moving on to the developer mode checkbox, this is great for when you need to display information about a particular screen or field. With the developer mode active, you can click on any field to display information about the screen and field. The information will appear at the bottom left of your screen, in green. Next, in the Search Line field, you will be able to search by the Item Unique Identifier in this field. Now let's take a look at the System Item Lines. The Active column will display a checkbox that when checked will make the corresponding customization active. The Item UID column refers to the Item's Unique Identifier code. This code will correspond to the item ID that appears at the bottom left of your screen when you hover over the field with the system information active. Next in the description column will be the description of the item or field that is being customized. The placement type column refers to how the field is being displayed on the screen. If the field is modified with the relative placement feature, then one of the place options will be selected. If the field was moved with the pixel placement feature, or the field was hidden from the screen, the column will contain the phrase pixel. If the field was moved with the relative placement feature, then the item relation column will contain the item UID of the field that it was moved next to. The item spacing column refers to how much space is between the two fields if the field was moved with the relative placement feature. The left column refers to how much space the field will move either left or right. You can enter either a positive value by itself or with a plus in front of the number to move the field to the right. Or you can enter in a minus sign in front of the number to move the field to the left. The top column refers to how much space the field will move up or down. If you enter in a positive number or a plus in front of the number, the field will move down. Whereas if you enter in a minus sign in front of the number, the field will move up. Moving on to the width and height columns, you can enter any value in either field to adjust the field's width or height respectively. If you would like to hide the field from the screen, you can select the Hide checkbox. The From and To pane columns correspond to which panes the field is on. Each tab in SAP Business One is considered a pane. 
You can view which tab refers to which pane at the bottom left of your screen by hovering over a field on a specific tab on the SAP screen. If you would like the field to be on multiple different tabs, you can adjust the from and to pane fields accordingly. Most of the time, since a field will be on one of the specific tabs, these two values are generally the same. You can also hide a field by entering in 999 into the from and to pane fields. Next, in the link to field, is where you can enter in an item UID so that the field inherits the linked item's item placement tool customizations. If you would like the data in the field to appear on the right side of the field, you can select the right justify checkbox to do so. If a zero is entered in the field and you do not want to display just the value of zero, you can select the suppress zeros option to hide the zeros. In the text style column, you will be able to adjust the style of the text to either normal, bold, condense, extended, italic, shadow, strikeout, or underline. You can also change the color of the text by right-clicking in the four color field and selecting pick color. Then in the color pop-up, you can select your desired color and click OK. After you click OK and update the window, the text in the field you modified will change to the color you selected. Just like with the four color field, in the back color field, you can adjust the background of the item by right-clicking the field and selecting pick color. After doing so, the field you customize will contain the new background color. Note, not all items in SAP can have their background color changed. In the font size field, you can enter in a new number value in this field to adjust the size of the font, or you can leave the field blank to keep the default font size. You can select the override description button to change the name of the item you are modifying. The final column in the list is the category column. If you have any categories set up for Boyum, you can select them from the dropdown. Now let's take a look at all the new fields in the UDF and Custom Item Lines table that do not appear in the System Item Lines table. The first new column is the Table column. This is where you can enter in the table that the custom item belongs to. Next, in the Field column, is where you would enter in the field name for your custom item. Moving on to the Type column, this is where you can select what type of object the item should be. The available options are static text, edit text, combo box, combo button, checkbox, text area, picture, button, golden arrow, tab, and rectangle. Static text allows you to enter in a static label. Edit text is a normal field that you can enter values in. Combo box will give you a drop down list with valid values to choose from, and it should be linked to a user defined field. Combo button is used for when you want to add a button with multiple options to the window. Checkbox will be used for items that have either a checked or unchecked state, and should be linked to a user defined field. Text area is used for larger text with multiple lines, and should be linked to a user defined field. Selecting text area adds arrows to the field so you can easily scroll through the information. Picture will allow you to display a picture and should be linked to a picture user defined field. Button is used for placing custom buttons on the screen. However, it is recommended that you use the function button feature of the B1 usability package instead to add buttons to the screen. Golden arrow will allow you to make a standalone golden arrow. You will need to make sure that the item relation and link to fields contain the item ID of the field the golden arrow will be pulling data from. Tab will give you the ability to add a standalone tab to the window. However, we recommend that you use the tabs button instead to add additional tabs to the window. And finally, rectangle will place a rectangle on the corresponding screen. The label checkbox will allow you to assign a label to your item. When checked, the value in the description field will be used for the label. The label relation column will correspond to the item value of the field the UDF was placed next to using the item placement tool. Next, in the label width field is where you can specify how wide your label is. The golden arrow column will allow you to add a golden arrow next to the UDF 
and you have the ability to assign a specific function to the golden arrow. Moreover, in the Choose From List column, you have the ability to assign a specific list to the UDF. If you have a Choose From List assigned to the UDF, you will be able to change its conditions by modifying the condition field. Common will allow you to select from a list of predefined conditions that will work with the corresponding Choose From List. Custom will allow you to create your own conditions by entering in the field and value that can appear in the Choose From List. The XML option gives you the ability to write your own Choose From List conditions using XML format. The Edit Add, Edit OK, and Edit Find checkboxes determine if you can edit the UDF in any of the mentioned modes. For example, if you have the Find field unchecked, then you will not be able to enter in a value while in Find mode. If you check the checkbox in the password column, then the data in the field will appear as stars. Next, in the Valid Values field, is where you can enter in the valid values a combo box or combo button will contain. The Effects Form Mode checkbox is where you can specify if you want the UDF to cause the window to update if a value is entered. When this box is checked, you will need to update the document if the value in the field has been modified. If the custom item is a picture, then you can specify the path of the picture in the Picture Path field. In the Val Off and Val On columns, you can override what the value means for a checkbox. If both of those fields are blank, then the system will use the default Y and N values for the checkbox. Both the Tab Item Same Height As and Same Width As fields are only used for the Tab Wizard and should not be manually modified. The Group With column refers to the first tab ID on the system form. This is used when tabs are created. The Golden Arrow Object Type dropdown is used when standalone golden arrows are created and will indicate what happens when the arrow is pressed. Now let's move on to the Tab button. This button is used to create two different types of tabs on forms that already contain tabs. You can create either SQL Report tabs or custom tabs. In the first existing tab field, we the item ID of the first tab on the field. If you have any SQL reports set up in your system, you can assign them to a tab by selecting them in the SQL Report UF field. In the description column will be the name of the SQL report and will be used as the tab's title. The tab left pixel position field corresponds to how many pixels from the left side of the window the tab will appear. So the higher the number is, the further right the tab will appear. The pane level is where you can change which level the tab appears on. You should not have to change this value, but if any of the fields are cut off on the tab, you can adjust this field accordingly. The Show Number of Records on Tab option will display the number of results on the tab next to the tab's name. If you would like to adjust how the information is displayed on the tab, you can adjust the dimensions and position of the information on the tab via the left, top, width, and height fields. Under the Custom Tabs option, you can set up various custom tabs on the marketing documents. In the Caption field is where you can specify the title of your custom tab. If you would like to adjust the positioning of the tab, you can do so by changing the value in the Tab Left Pixel Position field. The higher the number is, the further right the tab will appear. The Pane Level field is where you can change the level of the pane. This value should not be changed, but if the pane happens to collide with other add-ons, you do have the ability to change the pane level. The Item UID column refers to the ID of the items that you want to place on the tab. The Item Placement tool that is a part of the Boyum B1 Usability Package offers a lot of customization to the standard screens in SAP Business One. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com 
for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.